12 to 1. That's how the odds felt growing up. I remember my first time stepping into this one class in high school, and the teacher asked, what are you? What's your background? You know, your ethnicity. My answer, well, I'm Cambodian, but I was born and raised here in Philly. He laughed and said, well, good luck to you. You guys don't get too far. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't offended. Fast forward 14 years later. Here I am. Not what you were expecting, right? I could tell you how I got to this point, or I could tell you about a kid that lost his father, or a single mother of 10 who lost the love of her life. Back to that kid, becoming who he is today. But that's a story for another day. This is about ongoing fulfillment. Let's go back to my desk and watch all of the work I've done in the last decade. Does it seem like I got far, right? Everyone says you're supposed to be at a certain stage at a certain age in your life. Honestly, I did believe that at some point. But the truth is, how can I put it? It was intuitive, compassion, spontaneity. You could spend your whole life with the best intentions, following what everyone else wanted out of you, until that one day you realize those decisions will lead to your own destruction. I haven't figured it out, and I probably won't ever will. But I do know it's about contentment, which is subjective. And maybe those odds were always in my favor. <laughs>